Hi, it's Maxine Kay with the Greater Philadelphia Center for a Spiritual Living with a Love Note. Oh, Reverend Mike and I have been going through some things and and uh, downsizing a bit where we can here and there. It's interesting, isn't it, how as we're doing this, we go through our possessions uh, that sometimes are very precious to us. And it takes us a while to, to think through, look through, feel these items that have meant so much to us and wonder, do we still need those in our lives? Uh, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a progressive system, I think. And it's a very, very good thing to make these choices and decisions. You know, is this really something still important to me? Or can I release it? Well, that's what, whether it is clothing or knickknacks or books. Oh my goodness, the books. That's the big thing for us. Uh, we we have a hard time letting go of the books that are precious to us. Some of them, fine, we can recirculate them. Others, um, they're like friends, you know? We don't want to throw out our friends. So we're in this process, and it's a good thing. One of the things that I have been aware of for many years is that it's important for us to enjoy our possessions without letting our possessions begin to possess us. We want to live in freedom, in a sense of flow. Things come, things go. We have experiences that we cherish. We have things that we appreciate, and we have people that we love. And so as we move through each day, let it be with a sense of grace and a feeling of freedom to keep or release those things that have been in our lives perhaps for a long time and uh, and stay fresh and stay new. And, and, and the more we, rele we release to the universe uh, for other people's good, whether it's clothing or whatever, uh, the more we release those things, the more room we're making to have fresh new items and experiences come into our lives. So don't hold things too tightly. Let's keep our hands open and let things come and let things go and let other people enjoy them when we no longer require them in our lives. It's a lovely way to live in a sense of peace and freedom. So that's my message for you today. And just know that you are loved. Also, please come to our in-person celebration this Sunday, July 30th at Inaprod in Eagleville. We will have the most wonderful expression of love taking place. We have uh, Jim Wade doing all the music. We're receiving four new members and acknowledging those who have come in during the COVID time. We're also... Um, Having to having the pleasure of finally, those of you who have not done so yet, meeting our practitioner from Tallahassee, um, Florida, Bo Smith. He's going to be here this weekend. He'll be with us in person. So please come and celebrate a beautiful day together. It starts at 1030. If you're not in the area or you can't make it, well, just jump onto our website, cslfully.org, and and. Uh, Listen and watch. We're going to have a great time. Lots of love to everybody. We'll talk soon. Bye.